Hello everyone, you are on the channel Real Facts, and today we will tell you an amazing story that is hard to believe. How many stories have we heard about dangerous sharks and how they attack innocent surfers, fishermen, divers, and other people who love the ocean? This story I will tell you today will surprise you and probably change your point of view about sharks. Arnold Pointer, an Australian fisherman, was going along the shore in his boat and saw a big female white shark that was caught in his fishing nets. Such nets are designed specifically for big marine creatures so that people on the beach don't have to worry about them. The man saw that the animal was quite large, more than six yards in length. Nevertheless, he felt sorry for the shark and spent some time setting her free from certain death. It's what happened after that you simply cannot imagine. Instead of going away from that unfortunate place as soon as possible, the shark followed her savior. She did not try to attack. She appeared to be accompanying him. Of course, the man was pleasantly surprised by the behavior of the shark, who would normally either flee or attack him, as he knew from movies and books. Since that time, as soon as the man got on a boat and went to sea, she appeared and followed him everywhere. She might have been thanking him this way, but she did not realize that she would cause the following funny situation. Arnold, going fishing on a boat, thanks to his formidable bodyguard, could catch nothing as the shark scared everything around. However, he was not upset about it because he became so friendly with this huge marine animal that when the shark emerged from the water, she let him pet her belly and neck. She grunted, turned her eyes, and moved her fins up and down, hitting the water happily, and wags her tail like a happy dog. This is simply amazing because the white sharks, thanks to their impressive size, terrible teeth in three rows, and black eyes, they're terrifying and no one expects anything good from them because they are also called cannibal sharks. But Cindy, as Arnold calls her, changed the usual perspective of these kinds of animals. The shark diet includes mostly small organisms and small fish, and they rarely attack seals and fur seals, let alone humans. However, those rare shark attacks on humans were apparently enough to let poachers and fishing organizations hunt them because delicacies made from shark fin and liver are exquisite and expensive. Arnold is both happy and not about his friendship. Playing with her is fun and enjoyable, but returning home without having caught any fish does not make him a fisherman. That is all. If you enjoyed this story, click like, subscribe, and share this unusual and positive story with your friends. Bye!